Hey, what's going on everybody? Big Rove here, coming at you today with a new video about the Farming Guild. If you're like me, you might not have taken advantage of the Farming Guild right away, and so though it's been out two months, maybe you don't know what the benefits are for an Ultimate Iron Man, and so I'm here to help you out with that. Uh, this will be a very short and very unedited video about how the Farming Guild can benefit you. First, I want to talk about the travel time to the, uh, the Farming Guild. There are uh, four major ways to get here that I can think of. Uh, five even if, if you have Rata's Blessing teleport, um, but there's also a teleport on the Archaeus spellbook that teleports you right here if you're on that spellbook for Slayer. There's a fairy ring right here that you can use and run down quite quick. The skills necklace takes you right in here and there is also a spirit tree patch requiring level 85 farming that will take you right into the guild. Let's talk about what's beneficial for the guild starting with the level 35 portion. At level 35 you get these four patches, uh, this compost, and this uh, patch up here, and you also get access to early game contracts. Now, I do not suggest doing contracts until you have at least 65, but this is one option uh, of, uh, or one time where you can start doing the contracts. There are a few things that are good. Uh, of course, the new cactus patch and the new berry patch will, will be good for collecting white berries and for collecting potato cacti or cacti spines. Uh, this new flower patch will be good for collecting limpwort roots. Uh, you have a new master farmer with no really good trap spot unless you're using an alt, uh, but you also have this here uh, compost bin which I'll show you has 30 spots. Yes, it takes 30 spots to fill up. I can't show you. It takes 30 to fill up, but it also takes uh, gives 30 back. So that is certainly a good benefit coming in at level 35. Now, moving all the way over to the level 65 section there this is where the benefit really starts to come from the farming guild of course you have a new herb patch uh, this is where doing contracts for medium contracts starts to be good uh, the medium contracts have lots of really good farming and herb lore seeds that you can get and also you can start doing hespori hespori takes about 32 hours to grow so about a day and six hours to grow unless you're using the Coronos plant uh, and, and you get some lucky with that uh, so that is beneficial because you can get what we call here the bottomless bucket which is charged with ultra compost and for every one ultra compost charge it gives two uses so it essentially doubles your ultra compost uh, for doing uh, contracts uh, I do suggest a uh, setup kind of similar to this uh, but it depends on on what level you have and what seeds you have available and how much space you have available but the contracts you need uh, here that the main seeds that you need in here and the uh, extra seeds that that you need back in here now when we get to this uh, 85 section of course you have the celestra seed and a new dragon uh, or uh, a new fruit tree spot but you also get access to a redwood tree spot which is great because this is now the closest place to get to a redwood for uh, birdhouse runs which is fantastic and this is also the closest place to coconut tree if you are collecting coconuts to make weapon poisons so there's a lot of benefits to the farming guild uh, at each level even you get some benefit there are a few other things, uh, very slight things like a new place to buy seeds for your birdhouse runs, a farming store that's no real different, and a new place to buy bagged plants. Again, nothing very significant, uh, but uh, overall the farming guild is huge. I certainly suggest doing contracts during agility and any other skill that you can fit it into. Uh, they give great seeds. Uh, some more information about those seeds can be found in the Iron Man skilling discord that I certainly suggest to you. Leave any questions you have about the farming guild in the comments. Uh, this is the end of the video. It's not going to be much edited. Just a blanket statement. Here's what you need to know about the farming guild. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you got something out of it, and I hope you have a great time playing RuneScape.